Hi, this is Tom from Tom's Willow Craft. Today I thought I'd show you how to peel willow. I'm wearing protective gloves, very important when working with sharp tools. These are Kevlar gloves. And I have my favorite peeling tool here, this uh, one inch draw knife, a very sharp blade, a one-handed draw knife, very handy for peeling willow. You can also use just a short, sharp knife, such as a jackknife to do this. I have here a willow stick that I harvested recently. It's uh, mid-July right now and it's a great time for peeling willow because the bark tends to peel right off when the sap is running. Uh, pretty much around here mid-May through mid to end July uh, is great for peeling. The bark tends to come off real easily. What I like to do is hold the stick like this, uh, take my draw knife, get it started. When the bark's peeling this well, it tends to come off in nice strips like this, so it's real easy peeling. You can just see how the long strips come off. The sapwood underneath here is really wet, and uh, the bark is quite loose, not, not attached to the sapwood all that, that much at all. And so this is a great time of year to peel willow. In the other times of the year, the other 10 months or so of the year, you have to kind of peel each piece off a little bit more uh, late laboriously, uh, but this is a real, a real good time of year. Um, the peelings come off until you hit an irregularity, like a branch or a diamond. So, like this diamond right here that you see, um, the uh, bark doesn't come off there. But I just leave the bark on the diamonds while the stick dries for three, four, or five months or more. Um, that's pretty much all there is to the peeling process. It's pretty straightforward and as you can see uh, it's fast. I can peel an entire stick when, the, when they peel this well in three to five minutes. In the rest of the year when the peeling's a little harder it might take me 10 minutes to peel a stick. Uh, depending on the number of diamonds they slow you down a little bit. Um, how big the stick is, the nature of the bark, and so forth. Um, but you can see how nicely this and clean this peels off here uh, because the bark is coming off so neatly here. And uh, that's all there is to the peeling process. Just be careful. Uh, this is a really sharp knife. Keep it away from your hand. Uh, don't poke yourself in the eye or the belly with it. Um, wear protective clothing. Not a bad idea to wear an apron, I'm not wearing one right now, um, or some kind of protection for any, any part of your body that this knife comes close to. I've nicked myself a few times, but I've never cut myself seriously, but if I didn't wear gloves, I'd have some nasty cuts in my hands. So you can see this pretty big stick here. I'm almost done peeling it in just a couple minutes here really easy peeling right now this time of year and a little extra work peeling around the diamonds because the bark stays on oh there's one where the, the bark kind of stripped off the diamond and you can even see some of the nice grains in the diamond itself when you get up toward the end of the stick here I I now put my hand down and this is where you have to be really careful it wouldn't be a bad idea to wear some kind of a leather um, glove to protect the forearm there but I, I peel very carefully now and uh, keep that blade away from myself always pull it away from my from my arm I don't want to pull the blade into my arm and uh, this is a nice big uh, diamond and branch at the top here that's going to be real interesting I'll probably end up cutting part of this branch off to expose the diamond that's underneath it. But the purpose of peeling is to expose all this sapwood so that uh, the stick dries. Now all the moisture can escape through the sapwood and uh, this stick will dry oh in three four months depending on conditions and it'll be ready to, to be sanded. So now you just wait for the stick to dry and then it's time to start sanding. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna post one for you also on the process of sanding.